Hello friends. In this video, I'll be setting up my own personal CDN. CDN stands for Content Delivery Network. It's just a fancy way of saying a bunch of computers around the world that deliver content. Typically that content is static files, and in my case, that's exactly what I'll be serving. A CDN can help with caching, geographic distribution, which just means that if you're in the Americas, your content's gonna be served off an American server, and if you're in Japan, it'll be served off a Japanese server. DDoS protection from sudden spikes in traffic, and automatic file compression for users that may have slower internet speeds. So then why would I need a CDN? Well, recently one of my articles hit number one on Hacker News. It was also trending really high on Reddit, and that caused a spike in traffic overnight. And fortunately, the article was hosted on Hashnode, so the site never went down. So now I'm just a little bit more cautious about how I'm hosting my files, because if I had been hosting this on some cheaper shared hosting server, it's very possible that I would have taken down the entire server. So this is where Cloudflare comes in. I'm already hosting my DNS on Cloudflare, so this is perfect for me. They already provide all of these features and they do it under their free plan. So now the only other piece I'm missing is a place to host my static files. I'm gonna host my files on Amazon S3 simply because that's what I'm familiar with, but you could host them anywhere just as long as you can set a custom domain name. On the S3 page, I'm gonna click Create Bucket and I'm gonna enter in the full domain name for the bucket name. So I want this to be cdn.joel.net. That's where I'm gonna host all my files. It doesn't matter too much um, where you're hosting your files, but most of my stuff is hosted in the US West 2 region. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pre-select that. I'm going to click next, next again, and I'm going to uncheck block all public access because this is going to be a public bucket I need to uncheck this and make sure everything under this is unchecked. Click the acknowledge on the warning and hit next. Then just click create bucket. Now that the bucket's created, I'm going to click on the cdn.joel.net. I'm going to go into properties and click on static web hosting. Here I'm gonna click the use this bucket for a static web host and I'm going to set up my index HTML as just index.html. And for my error page, I'm going to create a 404 directory and put my 404 HTML inside that directory. And the reason why I'm doing it this way is because I plan on having images for my 404 HTML. So I'm gonna put everything, all of the assets related to this HTML inside of this directory. Now the next thing I need to do is set the bucket policy so I'm going to click on permissions and bucket policy, and I'm going to paste this bucket policy in here. I'll go ahead and include this in the description below. Uh, it's all, it'll also be available in the article. You're gonna want to make sure to change this to the name of your bucket. And all this does is it's saying it's going to allow everybody to get objects in here. So the full bucket is going to have public access. And I'm gonna click save and we should be done here. So now I just need to add files to the bucket. Instead of clicking upload, I've actually set up rsync so that I can mount a drive to my S3 bucket. So here I have the S drive connected to cdn.joel.net. Um, I'll probably cover this in another video. If you wanna see that, uh, comment below and tell me that you wanna see that. And I'll, I'll make a video demonstrating how to, how to mount a drive to an S3 bucket. Uh, but if you're curious, I'll just link to rsync and you can read the docs there. So now what I'm gonna do is just drag in the files that I need, which is my 404. And you can see that I have an SVG here, which is why I created the directory. And I have some static files for uh, my joel.net site. So I have a couple of things here that I'll be serving off of the CDN. And if I come back here and hit refresh, uh, we should see my files. And now if we navigate back into properties and the static web hosting, I should be able to access this through my endpoint. So I'm gonna click on that and my 404 page is coming up. So that's perfect. It even shows the image. And I'm gonna check and make sure that the other files in here are also serving up. So yep, it seems like everything is configured correctly on my S3 bucket. So now I'm gonna head over to Cloudflare. I'm in the DNS section of my domain name and I'm going to add a record. What I want to add is a C name, and my C name is going to be CDN, and that's gonna translate into cdn.joel.net, also the name of the bucket. 
and I'm gonna paste the target in here, which is the domain name that was uh, offered to me from S3. So you can see it's cdn.joel.net, S3, S3-website, US West 2, dot Amazon AWS.com. And I'm just going to click Save. So now that the DNS is set up, I can test that by entering cdn.joel.net and hit enter. I can see my 404 page is coming up and I'm going to check to see if the images are served too. And it looks like they are. And one last thing I'd like to check is I'm going to pop open my network tab here and I'm going to hit refresh and click on the initial request. If I look at the headers, I can see over here my uh, content encoding is BR. That's the Bratly encryption algorithm. So that's something provided that Cloudflare does. It'll automatically compress HTML documents. I'll also link in the description the list of all the other files that Cloudflare will automatically compress for you. So to get this set up, all I needed to use was Cloudflare's DNS, and I can even use their free plan. You can use any static host as long as they support a custom domain name. I went ahead and just chose an S3 bucket because that's what I'm most familiar with. And now that it's all set up, I can serve files off my own personal CDN. And as a reminder, when you subscribe, be sure to click the bell or you won't be notified of all the new videos coming out. And thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.